Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Snatch Chat, where I'm here to help you lose fat, but not your mind. So today we are going to do a show and tell of your products that you really, really need to lose fat. So I know that everyone is interested in this because I get questions all the time and with waist trainers and supplements and all these things being so, so popular, I'm going to delve into the three things that I personally use daily and things that I recommend to clients that will aid you best in your fat loss journey, okay? So uh, before we do that, per usual, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it does help a lot and make sure you get your free workout. So of course, working out and actually doing action is one of the best ways <laughs> to aid your weight loss journey. So there is a link in the description that will give you access to three of my full length body burn exercise routines. Okay. So um, just putting that out there. So first, I just want to say that Oh yeah, and also just a little disclaimer, I have my AC on because it is hot, hot, hot up in here. So if you hear that, my apologies, I do have my mic on and stuff, so hopefully it will just sound just as lovely, but I do want to <laughs> say that. Um, and also I'll just put out my usual disclaimer that this is a chat, so it's very informal. I'm just going through three bullet points and keeping it simple. And I decided to do that with the products today too. So there's a ton of stuff that I could probably recommend and I might do them in future videos, but today I'm going to stick to the three things that are must haves that will really, really help you out. Okay, so go ahead and get right into it. I actually brought the thing, so I'll actually have some visuals. So the very first thing, I'm going to grab it, okay, is a food scale. And this is so important that my AC decided to turn off for it. So I'm going to show you my food skill. So this is the thing is that a lot of times people think that they are eating less food than they really are. And the food scale, I'm putting this as the first thing because it's the cheapest thing that will be on the list. Uh, you can get one for $20 or less. This one that I have was only $16. Okay. And I've actually had two versions of this one because finally after years and years, my first one gave out and I upgraded to their newest version, which was still the same price because they just changed it. <laughs> okay. So the thing with the food scale, and I will just, I guess I can show you mine. So mine is by eTech City. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it comes with a bowl with it. It's just a removable bowl. But basically what this thing is going to do is it is going to really give you the true story of how much you are eating. And you are going to become a pro at knowing the real portions of things. So a lot of times what happens is people will report that they are not eating much, quote unquote, and that they're not really, you know, eating big portions of things. But the problem is, is that they don't really know if they are because they're not accustomed to knowing portion sizes. And the other side of that is food labels, which gives you portion sizes and what a one serving is, is often very, very underestimated for what people actually eat. So you will find that one ounce, which is 28 grams, uh, is the standard for all snacks and processed foods. So if you actually take a food scale and you put an ounce of food on the scale, you will realize very soon that it's very easy to get out of control with your portion sizes. Okay. So, um, this one is really good. You can, and I will put everything in the bio, the exact ones that I use for everything, all these things I'm going to mention, but remember you can just look and see which ones you think will fit you. But you know, I'm just going with what I have because it's what I use and what I recommend. But basically this thing gives you all the measurements. Okay. So for drinks, you know, ounces, um, I could turn it on, I guess. So you just push the tear. <laughs> So this is their digital one and it will, I don't know what this looks like on camera. So, I mean, if you can't see it, sorry, but basically it's digital and you can change the unit. So like right now it's on ounces. You can do, you know, fluid ounces. You can do grams, which is to me the most important one because everything is in grams usually. Um, and you can do everything, pounds, whatever. Okay. So 
what it does is like I said it really just trains you to know your food okay and to really be more of an intuitive eater so a lot of people don't want to count calories they don't want to take the time to actually log things which I totally recommend especially in the beginning but uh, if you really don't want to go that route, one thing to do is to measure your food and then you will know how much you've been eating in the past and you can maybe reduce your portions a little or something. So uh, the food scale, that was my number one. I think it's a life changing uh, thing to get. And like I said, it's less than $20. It's the best investment you'll make. My first one lasted forever and I just replaced it and it's just fine. So that is my number one. Okay. So now number two and number three, we're getting a little pricier, but what I will say about these two things is that you buy them once and you're done. Okay. So a lot of things with fitness, you know, your food, you know, if you're even in a program, whatever, you're going to have to pay for it over and over to get anything different. Um, and you do need to vary things and replace things. But these two things are completely non-needing to be replaced, right? That doesn't even make sense. Non-needing to be replaced. But you don't need to replace them, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and grab. So the second one I'm going to go into is my Fitbit, okay? So you don't have to get a Fitbit, you can get a different watch, but you need to have something that tracks how many calories you burn and how many calories you're eating, okay? If nothing else, you definitely need to know how many calories you're burning. Now, one thing that a lot of people will negate with this or will argue, will, they will say that sometimes that the calculations are incorrect on the Fitbit and it doesn't exactly, you know, count your calories correctly. And that is true. Um, it can be off. But the thing is, is once you've worn it for a really long time or even a short amount of time, what you will notice is regardless if it's off or not, you will have an idea how many calories you're burning and how many calories you're taking in. And the taking in is only if you decide to log your calories. Now the great thing about Fitbit is that it actually does all the work for you. So I've told the story several times, but I will tell it one more time. So what a lot of people don't know is that a couple years ago, actually in 2017, I was 15 pounds heavier than I am now and my fiance bought me a Fitbit for Christmas. I said I wanted one and he got me one and let me just tell you and I say it all the time that was the defining moment and what changed everything in my journey because I was like this was before I was a personal trainer but I was working out I was doing all this stuff and I, I was feeling better, but I wasn't really losing the weight the way I wanted. And then when I got the Fitbit, I started realizing what was going wrong because all the data was there. And data is your best friend in fitness, okay? You need to know what is going on. So when you see how many calories you're burning from week to week and you start kind of paying attention to the food that you're logging and all of this and that, you are going to learn what needs to be done. And it's little things like, okay, you know, the first week you have the Fitbit, you realize that you've burnt, I don't know, let's say 15,000 calories for the week, okay? You say, huh, okay, well, that's cool. And then the next week you see that you burned 13,000 calories. And you're like, oh, well, I burned 15 before, so why would I have retracted and gone backwards? So then you'll say, okay, well, I should just try to hit 15. And what you'll find yourself doing is purposefully, uh, purposefully, I don't know, me and my words today. <laughs> you will start to do more just to hit these targets, okay? And just to do a little better. And the more you learn about yourself and the more data you have, the better you get at assessing it and fixing things. So you will get a little better at it. You will learn portions. You will actually, it becomes a little bit fun. You know, you have all this data and you're really learning what's going on. Uh, Fitbit does the sleep for you. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. I mean, every it's weird because everyone thinks that anything with fitness, like if someone mentions something, they're automatically getting paid. I'm not getting paid. 
I don't have a deal with Fitbit. I just love it because it actually gave me results like off the bat, okay? Uh, the AC is agreeing and it wants you to really hear that I got results, okay? <laughs> when I got a Fitbit. It's like the AC is just deciding when it wants to talk. Um, anyway, so just saying it's really great. It, it calculates your sleep. Um, I started getting better sleep once I got it because I realized that I wasn't getting the sleep I needed and it was awful seeing, you know, how many hours I was getting every day and it wasn't even six and it gives you a sleep score. So it tells you, oh, you, you didn't get no good sleep and just all kinds of things. You can log water, you can just do all kinds of things. So that's why I love Fitbit because it is distinctly for fitness. Now you can have other options. So there are Samsung watches and I've had clients who have had other tracking devices. You can get a regular just calorie burn tracker, whatever. Um, it's just that I like Fitbit because it's specifically designed to have all your data together and for you to be able to, you know, put everything together. And it also calculates your caloric deficit which is the best part. So every time you log and you're burning, it's burning automatically, it will tell you each day if you went over or under on your calories. So uh, yeah, I can't, I can't express it enough. Uh, it's about $100. It's like, you know, well, at the time I'm speaking, it's about $100. Um, it's been like that for the beginning and end of time so far. So I really do recommend that that is one of your next purchases, one of your next requests for a present or whatever, because it is really, really that big of a deal and that life changing. Okay. So number two is Fitbit. Okay. Number three, now we're getting into expensive again. I will put a disclaimer out right now that I am taping this at the end of coronavirus time. So this is early August. There was a, well, first, let me just show you what it is. Okay. So, my <laughs> adjustable weights. Okay. We bring them both. Sorry for the, <laughs> sorry for the clunk. It comes with this uh, stand too that you can like put the weights in. Okay. But adjustable weights. So this is one of those things where it's expensive at first, but you save money over time. Okay. So the ones I have only go up to 12 and a half pounds, but of course you can get them up to as high as you want. Um, the, even this brand I believe has the heavier set. And the disclaimer that I was going to, to make is that there is a shortage, a shortage of weights right now. So since the coronavirus, all the weights kind of disappeared because people were waiting, you know, working out at home and the ones that are available are really like skyrocketed in price. So I will say that these that I have right now, they are way more than when I bought them. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and say that I will put them in the link, but they are way more expensive than when I bought them. And I will just go ahead and say that. So hopefully they'll come back down. Um, I think I spent... It was a hundred or maybe a little less than a hundred, but the right now at this time, they are like 190. So they've almost doubled. So I will say that. So, um, you can go to the link and then just see <laughs> what other ones are being offered or you can wait it out or go find some, I don't know, but I'm just telling you that adjustable is the way to go. And the reason is that you have to progress weights eventually if you really want to make changes faster for fat loss. So body weight exercises are amazing. I love them. I think they're underrated and completely wonderful. And people do get in shape just doing body weight stuff, but resistance training is what gets you the metabolism way higher, gets your metabolism way higher and gets you what you need for lean muscle mass to burn calories better. Okay. So that is the real difference in strength training with weights versus strength training with just body weight. Um, I do love both, but there is something to be said about progressing with weight. So with adjustable weights, what you can do is you can basically start from the bottom and go to the top 
And you also have the option to change the weights based on what you are doing. So the ones I have, I mean, it's kind of hard to demonstrate, but there's these little clips on the side. So you can just take the plates out. So you just slide. So right now it's on a 12 setting, but you can take these little plates out and it will give you a lower weight. So I would take the two out on this side and basically they would be seven and a half pound weights instead. So it starts at two and a half, then there's five, then seven and a half, then 10, then 12 and a half. So these I've had for years as well. So I don't even know if they would still be the same price. I haven't really checked the price in a while, but I do know at the beginning of the year, they weren't the price they are right now. <laughs> So I will, I can say that with a fact, but these will save you money over time because what people will do is they'll go and they'll spend, you know, $15 on, you know, one set, then they want to progress and then you can buy and pay another 10, 15 for another set and you can keep just doing this. So anytime you can buy things in a set or, and this goes for all equipment. If you can buy a little set or kit or anything, cause it's the same with, you know, resistance bands and you know, all the other stuff people want to buy. Like you just keep accumulating all these different things. So if you can find anything that's going to offer you more than one option, you know, in one product, then that's always a good thing. So I will say that these weights, they're amazing. They're metal. They're, you know, they have a very comfortable handle and everything uh i did before i started this video i did go to the link and check to see what some of the suggested things were so you can do the same see if you can find anything that um you know works but in the end this one is a little bit more on the you know eventual side so i would definitely definitely put more priority on the fitbit and the food scale Okay, those should be your first two. Food scale first because it's just 20 bucks or less, okay? There's some as low as 10. I don't know if they're as good. I can't say, but I've seen some really good reviews for some of them. So, you know, don't feel, if you want to try the $10 ones, fine. I'm sure there are some good $10 food scales. Always the case with uh, Amazon especially. You can always find an alternative. Um, so those should be your priorities, but the weights eventually, if you're just, you know, using two pound weights, five pound weights, whatever right now, and that's what you have, it's fine. Stick with it, work with it, do the body weight. If you do my exercises and my routines, you will see that a lot of the exercises are body weight anyway. So, you know, you'll still be able to make it. And I also like to just tell people, even if you use body weight you will still feel the exercise even with a bicep curl like right now when i curl my bicep i can feel it in my bicep regardless you know what i mean so uh yes weight matters and it does get you there faster and that's what this video is about uh but you can you know fake it till you make it that's what i say <laughs> so so that's it those are my three must-haves um I can't state it enough. And I will go ahead and say this. Of course, you can do all this. You can get results without tools. Um, I put it in the, the description. Of course, determination and consistency and all that stuff is what in the end will ultimately matter in your nutrition and all of that. But, you know, things do help. Okay. And it's just like, you know, the analogy I like to use is if you had a car and you were supposed to use a certain tool or you needed to do something in particular and you didn't have tools for it, you could probably get the same result not using the tool that's best or, you know, using your hands. And if you don't know anything about it, you could probably take the time to learn it and all of that. But, you know, why would you do that? If you need a screwdriver, just get the damn screwdriver, right? It's going to get you there faster. So that would be the analogy I would use. So yes, you can do it without tools and all of that, but most people do not have the capacity to really understand the data and what's really going on with their body without data. Okay. So knowing your calorie burn, knowing what your food portions are, stuff like that, 
that is very important to getting your results and the food scale and the Fitbit specifically will achieve that. And then on the weights, you know, that is just something that is an upgrade. So you can still get the work, you know, without the, the extra weight, but the resistance does make a difference. And it is a reason why, you know, people with your favorite bodies, all your favorite Instagram, you know, people and fitness stars, they do weight train. Okay. They actually use weights and you know, it is what it is. So that is it for the day. Um, I don't need to do a recap, I don't think, because I just said them all. So scale, <laughs> Fitbit, and the adjustable weights. Uh, the actionable step, I would say, is just to get a food scale, okay? Get the food scale first and then the Fitbit. If you can get both right now, do it, okay? And then maybe hold off on the weights. If you're watching this maybe a year after the published date or six months, maybe you can check. I don't know when weights are going to start being reasonable again, but... I did want to make it a part of the video because it really is that important and it is a part of my everyday use. So, all right, well, let me know if you liked these product video kind of things. Um, I'm thinking about doing some more with other, you know, like foods and, you know, brands and maybe some fitness clothing and what to look for in your sneakers and, you know, just stuff like that. Just product stuff, just faves and things that have helped, you know, clients and my journey. So let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, leave a comment, you know, and make sure you get your workouts. So definitely get the workouts and subscribe. Okay. So that is it for today. Uh, take care of yourself and I will see you next time.